I am so excited about what we're about to talk about, and that is Ladies' Night Out. Again, we're celebrating 12 years, 12 beautiful years. They weren't all easy, but they were all powerful. So I praise God that I have with me my girlfriend, my best, 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 best friend, as co-host for the last few shows, Prophetess Debbie Kaufman in the house. <laughs> So Debbie, what did we, we talked about this last week. What do you see coming forth in the spirit? Just to give them a recap for Ladies Night Out and then we're gonna move on to something else. But what, what do you see coming in the spirit with global impact? It, it is going to be global impact. Uh, again, we are in the nation's capital. We are in Washington, D.C. on yeah. an election yeah. year. We can't yeah. forget the significance of those items. God doesn't do anything by coincidence. No, He doesn't. No, Everything he doesn't. in the kingdom is strategic. Everything in Very the kingdom much. is in God's timing That's and right. in His season. And I don't think, Lynette, that we even understand the full impact so of this I don't think so either. I agree with I that, I think sister. God, God's agree, keeping some I of agree. this secret. Yes, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling like He's keeping yes, a lid on is. it. Because if He didn't keep a lid on it, we could possibly even be a little bit scared by what yeah. God's going to do. It's going to be that agree. powerful. I agree. It's going to be that agree. powerful. I agree. I, th I feel the nations truly are going to be impacted. Yeah from yeah. this conference. Yeah. I truly yeah. feel that much. And that, that has nothing to do with it being, oh, it's her conference and she's talking no. like that. We are trying to move in the spirit. Yes. We truly trying to move in the spirit. We're and, accountable to God for yeah, that. Absolutely. I'm not gonna pretend for anybody. Absolutely, absolutely. And with that in mind, then we have to move as the spirit flows. That's right. And and what people don't understand either, Debbie, is that we are first spirit. Yes. And we are in a, you know, flesh suit. That's basically. right. Basically. And so if the spirit says Okay, sister, you know, Lynette have a, a conference with this with this t these type of people and, and each person brings their own anointing plus right. the anointing for the conference. So it's going to be a good flavor. Yes. It's it's a gourmet meal being made basically. We're going to have yes. some seasoning salt in there and some good Amen. sweet stuff. And we stuff. like to eat. So we like to eat. We like to eat. We surely. Matter of fact, we're going to eat we're after gonna this eat show. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we really going to get into That's the good. eating. That's wonderful. But uh, but we want to make sure that everybody understands it's not a typical typical conference. No. Uh, it, it, it's not something we just threw together at the last minute and asked y'all to come. We didn't just decide no. six months ago. A year ago we planned. It wasn't, exactly. Mm -hmm. A year ago was in the planning, mm -hmm. but it took 12 years to get to this to get point. To get to this point. To get to global impact. Mm -hmm. So if God was working things out in our lives for 12 years, mm -hmm. just think about what's coming up after this 12th year episode. I call it the episode. It is going to be an episode, Lynette, because we have watched, we've known each other for a pretty long time now. Long time. And we have watched ministry evolve. We have watched yeah. life evolve. Yeah. We just, we chatted a little before the camera even came on. Yeah. We're in our prime. We're in our prime. We were talking about yeah. that because physically we feel like we're in our prime and we're just getting better. Yeah. But spiritually we're in our prime. Amen. And I Amen. feel that's very significant. You know, you, you can't, uh, eagles hang together. You know, yeah. e eagles just need to help each other out. And that's what happens at this conference because there is none of that her ministry, That's their right. ministry, That's this right. church, that church. We are the kingdom. That's right. We have a kingdom That's mentality right. and the the flavoring and the seasoning that you see, what do you think heaven's gonna look like? Yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly. It, you know, this is a global thing and you, you have to have a big vision. You can't be narrow-minded. That's you right. Can't you be can't narrow -sided not be narrow-sided. Because narrow -minded. God is not like that. That's he right. sees the big picture and he wants his people to see the big picture. So I, I can't, I truly cannot wait to get there. I, I'm just like, you know how I am Me anyway. Either. I'm just like... Me either. So I feel that in my spirit. Yeah. That yeah. kind of urgency in my spirit. And excitement. And expectation. Yeah. It's great all there. Great expectation. It's great all expectation. there. We, we're not only just having it in Washington, D.C., but we're having it at one of the most beautiful hotels there. Yes. You know, and... and let, let's even talk about that a little bit. The bidding war that went on between the Hyatt and the Sheraton... Yes. ...was phenomenal. I've never seen that before at any other... Uh, That's you know, favorite. ...city that two major hotels right, that's God's that favor. the president sleeps in, mm -hmm. you know, were bidding over having ladies night yes. out. So even they saw that's the right. anointing that was coming up on it. But I also want to talk a little bit about some of the subjects that we're going to be talking about okay. uh, with ladies night out. Even though it's called global impact, that's, mm -hmm. the, that's the, the theme, that's the direction. The subject matter is kingdom. Kingdom. Because I don't think people understand what kingdom is. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I really feel we all have sl kingdom slang. Yes. Because <laughs> we know how to say it. We know how to say it. We know how to say and it. And we've made up slang. That's right. You know, to go with it. But That's do right. we truly know the kingdom, kingdom language and That's understand right. kingdom? 
So then it's one that. thing to talk the talk, yeah, but it's another to walk the true. walk. And that's a lot of true. people slang yeah. and talk the talk, but they have no substance to no back it up. No substance, no substance. So no substance. these women that are coming to this conference are all women of substance. Yeah, I agree. I They're agree. all women of substance. You've prayed over this. God mm -hmm. led you on who to mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. he, he connected you spiritually with who to invite and who yeah. to be there. Yeah. And these are women that are coming with a kingdom mentality. They're yeah. not coming with my little world yeah. and, and my agenda. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I won't go there right now. But when you come with your own agenda, True. God's already got your number. He already, already got knows. Your number. And this already is about the it. kingdom. This is not about your agenda and how to promote yourself. That's right. God promotes us. That's right. He promotes I, us. I agree. And one of the things I love very much about every woman, not only because they're my girlfriends and I love them so much, but also because they had to fit kingdom's protocol to even come. That's correct. And what I mean by that, they're, they're not asking for fees. That's you understand? Right. That's right. It, it, it's all love. It's in love of me and my husband and love of kingdom. That's right. And they're not looking for a platform. You see what I'm saying? It's not another gig. Right. It is kingdom, kingdom mindset. So they had to come through kingdom protocol to even be part of this conference. I can't wait. I can't wait. Some of the things we're talking about is kingdom language, kingdom favor, uh, uh, k kingdom versus the world. Yes. You know, just different talk, kingdom beauty. What does kingdom beauty look like? Because you know, a lot of people spend a lot of money, Debbie, on clothes. Now don't get me wrong. I like me some clothes. I, I do too. I, I like, like my wardrobe. Me some I like wardrobe. I love I like the I like shoes, I like purses, the shoes, I like the jewelry. Braces, the jewelry. I like it uh, all. Hey, now I like it. I like it. I do too. But it ain't my life. No. No. Okay. No. And, and and I know how to look good That's right. without breaking the bank and, That's right. and and some people make that the the thing though. They go, they preach at these engagements yes. and what was about is about their newest shoe. Even though I like my shoe. Even though I like my I shoes. like my shoe now. I like my shoe. Mm -hmm. But we we have to understand what is kingdom. You know, a lot of us think it's from the outside. Kingdom's on the inside. Kingdom is on the inside and it's a mindset. It is a mindset. Yeah, it's and it's mindset. bigger than you. I, I mean, I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. Yeah. When you're really thinking kingdom, do I have issues a, a, at home to deal with and children yeah. and family yeah. And, yeah. and older parents that need care and, and ministry, just the administration of trying to run everything on yeah. a daily basis and yeah. running a business and, and all of that. Oh, my goodness. And it's easy to get caught up easy. in my world. It's true. But the true. kingdom goes far beyond my world. Yeah. And, and I have to understand within me that every day, God renews himself in me every single day. Every single day. Because there are challenges that that day holds. And if you lose sight of kingdom, on, if you on. lose sight of kingdom mentality, the challenges of that day will attempt to take you out. But by keeping your focus on the kingdom of God yeah. and building the body of Christ and, and doing and influencing your world around right. you, you, God will carry you through that day. Oh, he'll carry and I was reading that. just this morning, Lynette, it just popped right up in my spirit. I heard it just now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit showed me this morning in Proverbs chapter 16, because I've been wrestling with a little something. And he said, if you will please me, if a man yeah. will please God and his Come ways on. are honorable to God, Come I read on. it in several Come translations, on. Come I on. will make even his enemies yes. to be at peace with yes. him. Yes. So I don't have to struggle so much. I just have to please God. Yeah. That's kingdom. That's it. That's all kingdom. That's all kingdom. We're going to talk a little bit more about kingdom and a little bit more about even the worship and praise of kingdom because oh, my yes. sister is going to bring that mm. Mary Tiller Woods. And after we show a clip of what's about to come up. Yeah and get a taste of uh, They're going to want more. They're going to want more. They're going to want more after want, they yeah, see yeah, a taste. Y'all know it's good. Y'all know yeah. it's good. So we'll be seeing you in a minute. We'll see you in a minute. Mm. If you couldn't feel that worship, oh Jesus, he has saved the best for that. Try it again. I don't care what it is tonight. Some of you got hurt and you don't want to, you don't want to love again, but I dare you right now to go ahead and take a risk. I don't understand why I have to go through so much and you die and you, you want the glory? You want the anointing? As long as the team is winning, God, as long as Ah, 
us would get excited because we got a worthy portion. But for a greedy woman, that's not enough. Do you think God would cause you to be pregnant with something and not give you what you need to birth it? I tell you, I, I know that they enjoyed that. Oh yes, I oh, yes. know that they enjoyed that. I I can't wait. And she's my blood sister, um, and and just incredible, intense worship that I haven't experienced with a lot of people um, when it comes to the way my sister Mary Tiller Woods brings that anointing of worship. Mary understands worship. Yeah. Um, I, I wrote just this week, I don't know if you had a chance to see it or not, the difference between praise and worship. Come we we are three-part beings. That's right. You That's talked right. earlier about the outside, That's the exterior. Right. I, right. I live in a body. I have That's a clay right. jar, a clay pot. I have a soul, which is my will, my mind, and my emotions. And then I, have, I am a spirit, which is going to live forever in God's presence. And my interpretation of this, Lynette, praise is an act of my will, therefore it comes from my soul level. Yeah, yeah, and a yeah, lot yeah. of people can, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and they yeah, can yeah. praise. I yeah. love that because God talks a lot about praise yeah. and he wants it to be an act of my yes, will. But honey, when you cross over and you cross into worship, yeah. that's an intimacy. You know, I can date you and we can hold hands. That's well, right, not you, right. but yeah, you know but what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, it's a but form if of I'm speech. dating someone and I'm holding, <laughs> she's my sister. Yeah. But if I'm dating someone and I hold their hand or we sit and we have popcorn at a movie together or we sit across That's the table right. and we bat our eyes and we flirt a little and, and there's that, that casual act of my will. But when I marry you, yes, we enter into to become yes. one flesh, and there's a new level of intimacy, and that's what happens when we really yeah, worship. We Mary worship. has got that figured out. Yes, she does. I, I and she's got the her. anointing for that. Yes, she and does. And she knows how to lead us into yes, it. Yes, she knows how to lead us in and correct mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and, teach and teach about that worship. Well, you know, recently we've been teaching at New Wine about worship and praise. And what I want to get people to understand according to Psalms 50, first of all, we did 2 Samuel 6, mm -hmm. but according to Psalms 50, the very last verse says, in order to honor God, you must give him his vow of praise and worship. Yes. And then he says, then he says, and I will bring in salvation. Mm, I, 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 and I thought about that and I really looked at that yes. and I said, hold on God, what are you telling me? You are telling me that if we praise and worship you no matter what, because it's, the, it's, it's what he requires, then everything that is uh, acquainted with us, that is attached to us, yes. God will bring in salvation. Praise the uh, so Lord. if I have a child that's out there in waver, you know, mm -hmm. wavering from the Spirit of God, my praise and my worship will bring an opportunity and an opening yes. for God to bring salvation. If I'm having problems in my situation, I don't understand certain things, yes. God will bring the Spirit of salvation yes. because there's many forms of salvation into That's that right. situation. And so he says, and this is what I love in Psalms 50, he says, I am not silent. We know we Amen. have been taught 
for generations that there are times when God is silent mm -hmm. because we took things the wrong way. Yes. God said that he has fire in front of him, consuming fire in front of him, and around him is like a tempest thunder, which means that it is a strong storm yes. that surrounds him. Yes. There's movement and sound. And in Psalms 50, he said, I am never silent. Not silent. Oh my God. So if he's never silent, mm -hmm. then why do we reverence him in silence? Yes. No, heaven is not a silent place. It's not a silent place. I mean, the seraphim are, are, are bowing before the throne singing, Holy, 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 Holy is Holy. the Lamb. I mean, so they're, they're constantly in worship and in praise. And heaven is not a silent heaven place. Heaven is not silent. And if I'm created in His image and Come in on, His likeness, then we should be doing the same thing. Then I should thing. be doing the same thing. Well, then it goes into, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John mm -hmm. when He says, you know, um, uh, pray in this way. In this way. Okay. Give him the pattern. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be, be done. done on earth as, as it, it is, is in heaven. heaven. So if heaven is in constant praise and worship, why aren't we? You are reading my mail. I preached this just this week. <laughs> just this week. And I, I, she hasn't seen it or heard it. Oh my just this God. week. God spoke to my spirit and it was out of Psalms. Yes. Let everything that has, has breath, breath praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. And then I went into David, into the 34th Psalm when David wrote and, and he said, I will bless the Lord With at all, all times, times and, and his praise, praise shall continually be in my, my mouth. mouth. So again, you're talking about being silent. Yes. If praise is going to continually be not in your head, yes. not in your thoughts, Come on not now. in your spirit. He said, praise shall continually, continually be in my mouth. Continually, key word. Oh, continually. Lord Jesus. But, but we, here, we, we try to give him this silent treatment. I'm just going to sit here. Oh, this is my worship. God wants to hear from us. God wants to hear. He wants to hear from us. Because that's what he just, and then, wait a minute, sissy, wait a minute. In Psalms 50, it says, when you hear, I will speak. I will speak. Oh, mm. my God. Yes. I read that, and it just blew my mind. What do you mean, when I hear? When you open your ears yes. and hear my sound, yes. then I will speak, and it is sound again. I'm just amazed. God, oh, God not only speaks. Let me, let me take it come, one come step on, further. Come on, come on. He not only speaks in English words no, that we can no, understand exactly, or whatever your language exactly, is. Exactly. He speaks through the wind. Through the wind. He speaks come through on. the thunder. Come on. He through speaks everything. through the lightning. Yes. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Yes. He speaks through the rolls of the ocean. Yes. He speaks through the yes. leaves yes. rustling yes. on the yes. trees. He speaks through the through the animal running through the yard. Yes. I hear God yes. in everything that he created because he created all that. Yes. And he speaks to me and he reminds me just a couple days ago, Lynette, I was carrying a box out of the back of my car and there was a windstorm. There was rain yeah. and wind coming yeah. and you could feel it. You could feel it in the atmosphere. Yeah. And I lifted up my head to the sky because you could see the clouds rolling in. And it was as if it was all about me at that moment. It yeah, was, yeah, I felt yeah, like yeah. I was in a movie and the camera yeah, yeah, was yeah. on and yeah, the, and the yeah. wind machine was rolling and my hair was blowing back in the wind. And I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me plainly. And God said, I'm releasing a new thing to you. And it yes. was as if that wind was just Come breathing on, on, on me. Sissy. So you can hear him yes. in every aspect of, of right. what you do and who you are. He's Come there. On. He's ever he's present. Speaking. He's ever present and he's speaking to his people. We just need to have ears to hear him. Have ears Spirit to hear him. Spirit ears to hear him. Well, that's what he says. Let them that have ears hear, hear what the Spirit, Spirit is of saying. the Lord is saying. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, don't miss Ladies Night Out. Yes. Global Impact, July 6th and 7th at the Sheraton National Hotel. This, this, this 12th year conference. 12th year conference is going to be amazing and I'll tell you why the worship is going to be intense this is the kingdom yes. teaching we're talking about did you see how we fed off each other you can't you can't deny that type of anointing and that's what it is the whole entire conference come and enjoy yourself yes. and let God be a catalyst of change and maybe I can have them on the show given their personal moment that God's given that's them. right I can't wait to see you and prophetess Debbie is with me we're going to see y'all there. Make sure you give us all a hug. That's right. Give us a hug. Come up and see give us. Give us a hug. Don't miss your life-changing moment. Amen. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. And we'll be right back after this. If you couldn't feel that worship, oh Jesus, 
He has saved the best for that. Try it again. I don't care what it is tonight. Some of you got hurt and you don't want to you don't want to love again, but I dare you right now to go ahead and take a risk. I don't understand why I have to go through so much and you died and you want the glory? You want the anointing? As long as the team is winning, as long as the kingdom is progressing, then I'll wait right here, Jesus. of us would get excited because we got a worthy potion but for a greedy woman that's not enough do you think god would cause you to be pregnant with something and not give you what you need to birth it I just praise God because yes. it's, it's, it's something that um, I'm not going to beg. I'm just going to tell you about just like the feast. Yes. Um, there's food there. Um, if you're vegetarian in the spirit, mm -hmm. God knows how to make vegetarian food. Yes. If you are a meat eater in the spirit, he knows how to give you the meat. If you are just starting out with no teeth, he knows how to give you the milk. So everything will be right here, uh, and it will all be good. Um, and it's for mature audiences only. And what I mean by that is, it is not necessary about, uh, you know, what can I get from God, but actually how do I evolve and change? How do I become uh, who God wants me to be in this kingdom dimension? And, and what is kingdom? What does it look like? And how is it going to be in my life? How does it operate in my life? First of all, we got to remember, as my dad, Tony Brazelton said, the Bible wasn't written for your flesh. It was always written for your spirit. Mm, that's good. So if it wasn't written for your flesh, and your flesh is not even the common denominator here. It is supposed to increase your spirit so that you can control and actually have a life of abundance and, and, and live a life that is satisfactory to God. Yes. And that's when you get your well done. So we're looking forward to everybody yes. coming to the Global Impact. It's going to be great. We're, we're going to meet new people, new faces this yeah, year. Uh, a lot of the new speakers ones. are the same, so we know each yeah. other and have that familiarity. But we want to introduce ourselves to some new people. And yeah. I believe God's really sending in a crowd. I believe yeah. He's sending in a big crowd for this. Yeah. And you, you can call me. You can call me, call me, call me. Uh, you can call me at 330-284-1851. Again, the number is 330-284-1851. 1851. We will be on the line with prayer. We yes. will be on the line. And listen, let me let me make it clear though, okay? Don't be praying, calling me, asking me to transfer some power or anything like that. It ain't about me, boo. You've got to get into a relationship with Jesus yes. Christ. So it's not going to be on no one. long conversation. 
and about all your problems because I am not going to focus on your problem. I'm here to offer you a solution. And his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So I, I don't have the answers, but I do have the answer. Yes. Come on now. Amen. And Jesus Christ is that. So make sure you join yes. Prophetess join and I. DC. Come on now. Join we, us we gonna, And don't forget the pajama party because she got silk pajamas. I'm going to go out and get me some Bugs Bunny. So make sure <laughs> you get ready for that as well. I got silk. You got silk? <laughs> as we prepare for that. And, and Lord, please don't wear no rollers at the big pajama party. No rollers allowed. No, no rollers, rollers allowed. No rollers put, allowed. Put your, put your makeup on. And yeah, 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 yeah. And come and enjoy because heaven is going to meet us at yes, this place. Amen. Yes, amen. So be ready. We enjoyed y'all. We pray you enjoyed the show, Ladies Night Out, today in the last three weeks. And thank you so much to my co-host and my best friend. My best friend, my sister. We getting ready to go out and get some sushi or something because we hungry. So we'll see ya. Peace. In DC. Love ya. It's troubling you. And if you can't see your way through, remember the If this broadcast has blessed or inspired you, please support us by giving a donation of love in any amount or become a partner with a monthly gift of $20 to In Focus with Lynette Appling at ltaproductions.com or by calling us at 855-823-5559.